Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make this cool effect in Photoshop. Let's jump right into it. Um, it's actually really easy. First off, I want my background to be black, so I'm just gonna press Command I on a Mac, Control I on a PC to invert my background from white to black. Next, we're gonna go grab our ellipse tool. Um, I'm gonna make it white and we're gonna make a circle. I'm then going to double click on my ellipse layer and the layer style window will pop up. Now first off we want to add a gradient overlay just a regular white to black gradient. Um, I like the angle to go from downwards to upwards and I just leave the rest as is. I'm then gonna add an outer glow effect and I want the glow to extend a little bit. Now you can, you can play around with the settings and adjust it to however you like it. I usually go with like 80% opacity and 50% range and then play around with the size of it. Once I'm happy with it, I'm gonna add an inner glow effect as well. I'm gonna make it white and the opacity at 100 percent well here as well we're going to play around with the size of it and i'll leave the range at 50 percent as well but if you want to go with another effect you can also play around with this i'm going to press ok when i'm happy with it and last thing we're going to do is add a gradient map click here on the gradient and we're going to use one of my gradient map freebie packs uh, they're going to be linked down below, uh, so these are all free for you guys to use. And look at how insane this looks. It's just a circle with a gradient inside, and this is the result. Like, how cool is this? This is another of my freebie packs. Come on, look at this. How pretty is it? And now you can just play with it. You can duplicate it and place another one in the center of it or duplicate again and just add some little dots around make a huge one and place it over here anyways you can really go crazy with this and once you get the hang of it and understand how the effect exactly works you can start making some really cool stuff by just using shapes um, like we just did. What I like to do next to keep everything non-destructive as we like, um, I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to fill it with 50% gray. How I do this is if you're like right here on the white, I'm going to go and write 50 over here and it'll give me the 50% gray, which is 50% in between from being black or white. Um, I'm then gonna fill the layer with the gray and then I'll go add some noise. Maybe six is a little too much, so I'll go with five. And then I'm going to change the blending mode to whatever fits best what I'm going with. So probably overlay or soft light. Hope you love this tutorial. Feel free to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also go check out my Instagram channel. I post daily designs over there. I'm almost at day 600. So I definitely appreciate if you go take a look. And as I said before, all my links to the gradient map packs and texture packs are gonna be down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.